how to bind the ASN Mercedes G035 receiver to the transmitter. Um, if you've got a new board, you'll need to do this, or if something's happened to your bind. First of all, power the transmitter. When you power it while holding down the far right button, switch D, you will get this light flashing. That tells you you're in bind mode. You can now leave the transmitter for the rest of the operation. Uh, when you're bound, this light will go solid on. Now, on the receiver, what I want you to do is hold this little button here on the side, which is your bind button, while it's powered off, and then power it up. At this point, this light will go solid, this light will go solid. The bind process is now complete. Uh, now, one of the things that is causing people problems is if they don't have the GPS plugged in, they can't bind. If there's any issues on the main board affecting the main board, they can't bind. This is because the error messages will flood into the trans or into the receiver board from the main flight controller and cause it to fail to bind. Uh, in these cases, you can remove the board or at least remove its path from the flight controller and just plug in power separately. Uh, if you're not sure where, uh, all you need is 5 volts and this cable is correctly wired. You've got ground on one end and the red is the 5 volts. Uh, don't worry about the white, that's just one of the signals I've been using for testing. Um, or, in this particular board you'll notice I've solid straight into the 3.3 volt line. That's because I've damaged the 3 volt regulator up here and I can't run off 5 volts at the moment. But that's the process for binding your uh, receiver to your transmitter. Uh, if anyone has any difficulties, please let me know.